Hello Pilots, it's Plasma 1945. Today, I've got some exciting news from the world of DCS and Ugra Media, who are teaming up with Eagle Dynamics to bring us a fantastic update for the DCS Syria map. This update includes brand new airfields, some powerful performance improvements, and of course, a whole lot of eye candy upgrades. Let's jump right in. Most of the map changes are coming up for the southern part of the map, all to the south of Haifa, currently a very empty area. Let's take a look at their locations marked on the map. All right, first up, the new airfields will soon have access to strategic spots like Ben Gurion, Hatsor, Palmashim, and Telnov. Adding these airfields means more mission variety and additional areas for both training and action-packed scenarios. Now, if you're like me and love crafting those complex multi-stage missions, these new locations are a big win. And of course, if you have a squad or a group of friends and want to host your own missions, the place to go is fox3ms.com. The Fox3 team has been supporting the DCS community with easy to manage, dedicated servers. You do not need to be a tech and can focus on being a pilot while running your own missions and scenarios in less than 20 minutes. With custom server plans for small squads to large air groups, fox3ms.com is the place to get your server. Now let's talk about performance. This update isn't just about adding new features, it's also about optimizing what's already there. Eagle Dynamics has made some key improvements to small object models, which means less impact on your system while keeping all that amazing detail. So smoother gameplay and better visuals? Count me in. By the way, all the amazing liveries you are seeing are the Red Star Squadron, created by Striker45, and you can make your own awesome liveries using Fox3 Livery Designer. Or for a custom hands-on experience, contact Wyvern on Discord, see link in description. Let's get back to the Syria map. There is still a lot more stuff to talk about. All right, let's talk upgrades. First off, textures. Ground surfaces and objects now have enhanced minimum texture resolution giving us sharper and more detailed visuals. Think crisper landscapes and a lot more immersion, especially in those low altitude helicopter flights. We're also seeing new helipads across several military bases. This is great news for helicopter pilots with even more spots to land, take off and engage in operations. Also, a detailed overhaul at Palmashim's refinery area. This spot is now brimming with finer details, adding that extra bit of realism we all crave in DCS. And speaking of atmosphere, the Airbus A300 and 26 map objects have been updated too. These aircraft will now appear at airfields like Deir ez Zor, Latakia, Beirut, and Damascus. They bring more life to the airfield scenes and are looking better than ever with their upgraded models. Moving on to destruction models, this update includes some awesome new destructible models for major points of interest. We're talking places like the Bank of Cyprus, Beirut Skygate, Paphos Terminal, and even the Sheraton Adana Hotel, not to mention the Ataturk and Tishrin dams. Now, when things heat up in those areas, it's going to look incredible. Finally, bug fixes. We all know how these little issues can affect gameplay, so it's awesome to see some solid fixes here. Akrotiri and Paphos airfields had issues that are now resolved, and there have been corrections in terrain and vector data. Helipad collisions have been sorted, and even small details like license plates and building inscriptions have been corrected. These fixes will just make flying over these regions smoother and more immersive. So that's the scoop on the upcoming DCS Syria map update. Whether you're excited about new airfields, performance boosts, or all the detailed scenery improvements, there's something here for everyone. Thanks for tuning in and let me know what you're most excited about in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date with more DCS updates and flight sim content. Until next time, see you in the air.